We all have dreams and we all have ambitions. We all aspire to attain something. But how many here remember their childhood dreams? How many of you are trying to get that dream? My dream as a child was to do great things. But always felt short when I woke up the next morning and someone had already done. What was I supposed to do? I always dreamt of something. I was planning to achieve it, but someone had beaten me to it. Through time and countless disappointments, I found myself thinking that I could just push my dream to the archives of my mind, forgetting it completely. After a long time, I thought I did. I mean, in the real world, throwing a simple tantrum doesn't get you what you want as it did as a kid. And yes, I was a kid who used to throw tantrums in the middle of malls just to get what I want. It did work, though. But through that, I grew up, and time had gone, and still I had not achieved my dream. But I thought I had lost my dream until one day in year 12, we went for a community service project in Kajiado. In Ilbisil Primary School, I met one young boy who wanted to do great things. His dream was to be a neuroscientist. I was perplexed. As we were there, collecting waste from the campsite, I didn't know what to say to him, but only listened to his dreams. He dreamt of something bigger than all he could carry with his hands. This was a young boy, probably 10 years old. But that simple action of his reminded me of my dream. To do something greater than my self-existence. To do something for the world as a whole. It got me thinking. This boy has so many challenges to achieve his dream. But what are we doing to, to help him? Better yet, what am I doing to help him? With the knowledge I have, the opportunities, I could help him. As we were picking up that trash, I remembered my chemistry organic lessons, that plastic is just a combination of hydrocarbons from the earth. They're just long polymer chains. If you do take those chains and break them apart, you do produce a lot of energy. This energy could be put to good use. I began to, to think of ways of how to use that trash to create energy that can be used by this boy to achieve his dream. So first, what I did, I went to attain knowledge. Through my research, I found a study done in Africa in the year 2012, where our development projects had created enough waste to produce 1,125 petajoules of energy. In the, they predict in the year 2025, this energy will rise to 20, 22,199 petajoules. That is an impressive amount of energy. So why is it laying here on the ground? Why are we doing nothing for it? After that, I thought of this this way. Yes, we're a developing nation, but are we really developing? I mean, the city has gotten bigger, but this town is still where it was probably 10 years ago, no electricity, nothing. That brought my dream to perspective to the world. With Africa's development yet to be put in, the, in history books, I decided I will put development ahead and move it, make it move in a new direction, other than the old, known, convenient way, where you just develop and forget about environmental sustainability for a while, then after development you come back to sustainability. What if I could make you move them along, alongside each other? Development and sustainability. I decided that we can use this trash to produce biogas. Biogas to fill development into a new era. I, I decided that it was possible. I was going to make my dreams possible by changing the world, but not for me.
but for the dreams of this young boy. The development in Nairobi, yes, truly, it is bigger than most known, but is it truly worth it? I see us building massive amounts of towers, of offices, new roads, new houses, but how good is it if it's leading us to produce a lot of waste? Was this the really the best way to develop for it? There must have been something better. There has to be. From thinking, I got the light bulb. I had a plan to develop this nation even further, to develop the world into a new era, one yet to be known. How was I going to do it? By simply using your trash. Right now, I'm in the process of beginning a company that will take the trash produced by most development projects and trash dumped in dump sites to produce biogas to fill electricity in the nation and in the world as a whole. Because it doesn't make sense to me that all this good development is leading us to produce this. So much waste, so much death to the planet. How? There must be something I could do. I couldn't let 15 acres of potential energy just be wasted. I had to do something. And although, yes, I want to sustain the environment, I also want to remove the people here where you see working at the dump site. Have these kids go to school. The company will not only employ them as professional workers, it will give them a chance to the future. Something better than what they have now. It is possible. But here, I ask for your help. Yes, we can do it. We can change this. We can bring the Nairobi River back to its one known glory. But how? How are you supposed to help me in this great feat? Simple. You do the easy part. All you have to do is recycle your waste. Instead of just throwing it anywhere, know what your waste is and know the right bin to put it. This will help me change the world. It will help me build a dream, not only for myself, but for you all. Because I want to turn what you don't need into what you want. I want to keep the green alive, not just for my personal views, but for your grandchildren to also see animals outside zoos. I want to keep it alive. I want to keep our planet alive. I want to be your fairy godmother and you all my Cinderella. Because Cinderella didn't need a pumpkin to go to the ball, did she? Thank you.